I oh, just want to shoot a little video here. Um, I got a bunch of these 044s. Uh, th these are done. The Black Sunshine, Black Sunshine 2. This one's in a little rougher shape. The wrap handle's been used a little more. There's a couple spots there where you can paint it, but uh, these I haven't dyed the plastic. I might, I might just leave them, but I did get some different decals for them. The old steel uh, made in Germany. Um, but this is this is the one I had on the video the other day. Um, I don't know if you could see in there, but shine the light. That's eh, not gonna. I really can't get in there. there. There's some carbon and crap on the side that you gotta get. I gotta get rid of. Clean it off a little bit, but I mean you can almost. Well, it's not showing up, but trust me, if you get in there, you can. <coughs> You can see, still see the, the piston, um, the machine marks on the piston when they turn them down. And uh, on the intake side, I'm going to have to go ahead and, where, where am I here? Okay, here we go. I blew it up. Intake, intake side's the same. I don't know if you can see in here or not, but there's just a few few light 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 marks probably you know from running these old filters or whatever they got a little bit of dirt in there but the compression is really good on it um, so yeah this should this should turn out to be a nice builder um, I've got enough parts here I have to I have to get uh, a few minor things I need the little ring that goes inside here and a few other parts uh, handle and whatnot, but this should turn out to be pretty good. I, this is it's got another one of these uh, uh, 10 millimeter slant fins, which I found to run pretty good. And uh, it's, it's a 10 millimeter case on it. Wh whoever whoever I got this from uh, gave me a pretty good deal on it. I can't complain. So we're just going to clean up the. Uh, the, the muffler here, or excuse me, that exhaust port, get all that carbon and crap out of there. Um, the compression's really good. So, you know, we'll run it until she needs new rings. And on the intake side here, I can do a little bit of a flow work to get, get her to flow a little bit better. But I haven't done any work to the cylinder or anything. I'm just going to run it. I've got another four of them here to compare to. So far, this, this one here runs very well. This one runs just as good, if not a hair, hair more. So, I got enough of these to, to play around with them and become the 044 master. <laughs> yeah, I wish. But, uh, seriously though, if you're up here in the Northeast, uh, New York, PA, Ohio, or whatever, you guys know what size trees you cut up here. And I'll tell you what, these, these 044s... Uh, you know, if they're, the motors are tight on them, they, they really run. They're, they're a nice saw, pretty easy on gas. They, they, uh, they're, they're lightweight. Uh, actually, um, they list them at 13 pounds, which is actually lighter than the 462C. So, and I think... That they're they're going to be just as strong, if not stronger. Um, stock, they might be giving up a little bit, but you flow port them and and do your flow tricks to them and uh, mod for mod. I think these are going to run stronger because it's, it's just a straight shot. You know, it's just a straight. There's no straddle straddle charging. There's no nothing. I mean, I know how to do the saws with the straddle, but it's it's very difficult. It's it's it's, it's just. They, they up the game, you know, they, they gave you the, the horsepower from the factory, you know, the, the, the 462 I think is uh, uh, 5.9 or 6.0 and they have this listed at 5.1, but I don't know, man, I, you know, the more, more of these saws I run, especially the Husqvarna's, now I, I'm primarily, uh, primarily uh, concentrating on steel because I like their product, but, you know, there's some of these Husqvarna's that are rated at, 
uh, 6.5 horse, but I'll tell you what, I mean, you can put a huge bar on them and they pull. So I don't know if if the horsepower ratings that we're getting are really accurate. I, I, I really don't think so, especially with the Husqvarna's. The steels are pretty close, but so. All right, kids. Beep, beep.